Now we talk about the chemical composition of chromosomes. Chemically, it is found by different types of biochemistry experiments and by X-ray diffraction studies that chemically um, DNA consists of um, three major ingredients, a sugar, um, a phosphate group and a nitrogenous base. DNA is a molecule that is about 2 nanometers thick. Um, this is running continuously means without a break throughout the chromosome. Uh, DNA is acidic in nature. The biochemical analysis shows that DNA in its nature is acidic. So, you know the DNA is present in, um, in huge quantities inside the nucleus and it is packed. If we, uh, if we uh, talk about DNA in a single cell, um, all of its chromosomes that, uh, and we simply elongate them and straighten them, these will be about um, uh, 6 feet long. You can guess 6 feet, about uh, more than the height of an average person. And this is packed in a microscopic cell and even inside its nucleus. How, how this this much long, long DNA molecule is packed in a microscopic nucleus, very small one, uh, which we cannot see with the naked eye. How is this possible? The answer is coiling and the supercoiling. We again have to look on a diagram. Look at the diagram which is in front of you right now. We know that chromosomes are present in pairs. If you look at the bottom right, we can see a homologous pair of chromosomes. Uh, the metaphase chromosomes which are present in the metaphase of the uh, mitosis the cell division. If we simply uncoil a chromosome and spread it in, um, uh, in, lean, in a linear fashion, then we will see that this is, uh, this is a highly complex molecule uh, wound uh, just we can say it is coiled, coiled and coiled. Uh, if we open these coils more, we can see uh, in, in the yellow color, if you can see, the flower-like structures, uh, we, these are called the solenoids. These are the um, lengths of DNA wound around or wrapped around the histone protein. If we even open them more, uh, if we open the, so, open the solenoids as well, then we can see uh, the bead-like structures. Uh, these beads, these individual beads are actually lengths of DNA. Uh, wound around or wrapped around the, a set of histone molecules. Um, we call it a nucleosome. One nucleosome um, is uh, actually a set of histone molecules and two wraps of DNA molecule around it. Uh, these, uh, uh, d this DNA which is wrapped around um, in two circles around the histone molecule is about 200 base pairs long. Then you can see that these beads are attached to each other. Uh, this, small, uh, this part of DNA which is attaching them with each other is called the linker DNA. That is, it is linking nucleosomes with each other. This linker DNA is uh, roughly about 80 base pairs long. Then if we open this, if we still open the nucleosome and um, separate the DNA from the proteins or unwrap the DNA from the nucleosomes, then we can see that DNA is a um, very long helical structures, two strands going side by side um, together in a helical fashion. Um, this, this part of DNA actually, which is now without the proteins, just two DNA strands going side by side together uh, makes the genes. It means that these are the, um, these are only the DNA molecules with no association proteins. In this form, uh, these are capable of uh, making the uh, RNA molecule and then the proteins. We have a closer look in this next diagram on the uh, nucleosomes. You can see three no nucleosomes here. If you start from the right, you can see one nucleosome, a central core of proteins, we can call it a protein core made up of histone molecules, then two wraps of DNA then the linker DNA, then two wraps again um, around the next histone set and then there is a third and so on. If we look this structure under the uh, electron microscope because um, we know that electron microscope is a microscope 
which can show us extremely small structure which are uh, which are not visible under the light microscope even if we look at the chromatin material um, during the non dividing phase we can see a bead like structure these beads as we can see just jis tarah tasbih ke dane hote hain is tarah ka structure hame nazar aata hai electron microscope mein um, this bead like structure is actually uh, the straightened uh, dna which have nucleosomes and the linker dna then nucleosome and the linker dna and so on so uh, this how this is how uh, this much long dna molecule which is extremely long longer than the height of the uh, a person is uh, coiled or is packed inside a very very small nucleus which is microscopic which is not visible to us visible to our eye we say uh, we can say that Uh, some scientist says that if we can um, uh, straighten the whole dna present in a human body and straighten it and make a thread this thread will reach from the earth to the moon this is that long uh, but um, you can see that how nature packed it into a very small microscopic nucleus and um, control the whole characteristics of the organisms using this genetic material um now we talk about the chemical composition of dna dna is a complex large molecule it's a macro molecule it consists of the subunits subunits are called the nucleotides each nucleotide consists of three major molecules one is a sugar that is a ribose sugar uh, a five carbon sugar uh, and that is a deoxyribose the other one uh is a phosphate group and the third one is a nitrogenous base what is dna actually the nucleotides they join together um that is one nucleotide is joined to the next and next to the next and so on these nucleotides makes the long chains of the dna molecule itself and there are two chains running side by side and these two chains are bound together they are um, uh they are um, Uh, different parts uh, we we'll, uh, look next they bind together uh, to make a helical structure they are wound around each other in a helix we call it a double helix because it have two strands helically um winding around winding around each other if you look at the diagram it shows you a deoxyribose sugar a five carbon sugar um its five corners are showing its uh, five carbons then you can see a phosphate group on uh, its left and a nitrogenous base uh, which is a six carbon one on its um right this is the structure of a single nucleotide uh, but nucleotides even um are of uh, different natures nucleotides are categorized into two groups according to their differences in their structures there are two called purines and there are two others called pyrimidines we have a look on their structure purines are two one is adenine and the other is guanine the pyrimidines are thymine and cytosine there is a slight difference in their structure the purines as you look at in the diagram the purines are double ring structure they have two rings their structure is like this that there are two rings joined together but in the pyrimidines as you can see in the diagram the cytosine and thymine they are single ring structures according to these four bases we call them nitrogenous bases because you, because you can see there are a lot many nitrogen molecules um, are present inside these uh, uh, these structures according to these nitrogenous bases uh, we categorize the nucleotides into four major categories according to one with, with which a adenine is attached um, adenosine a guanosine a cytosine and a thymine base so bases are adenine guanine cytosine and thymine now we have a look on um, uh, a dna molecule more closely how these nucleotides are arranged in front of each other if we look at the diagram we can see that a thymine is pairing with an adenine base in dna actually thymine always pairs with an adenine and a guanine always pairs with a cytosine so we can find out the gc pairs that is guanine cytosine pairs and at pairs the adenine and the thymine pairs uh, 
Now we know that the DNA is the main genetic material. It produces the RNA, the ribonucleic acid. There is a ribonucleic acid is also um, similar in its uh, single stranded structure to the DNA um, and is always complementary to the DNA. But the difference is this that RNA do not have a thymine. In place of thymine, the RNA molecule have um, uh, another uh, base called uracil. So, um, if this is an RNA molecule, it will have uracil in place of the thymine and the uracil will pair with the adenine rather than thymine and the RNA is single stranded. RNA do not have these two strands running together. The DNA molecule as you can see that there are two parallel chains. These chains are attached with each other by hydrogen bonding. If you look at in this next diagram, the guanine and cytosine bases are joined together, joined to each other uh, by hydrogen bonding um, and guanine and cytosine, the GC pair is attached to each other um, at three places by three hydrogen bonds while an AT pair, adenosine to thymine pair is attached to each other by two hydrogen bonds. So, hydrogen bonding is the force that keep these two winding um, strands of the DNA together.